Alright, alright, hello and welcome to Odyssey of Eternity. I'm DM Kenneth and this is... Well, we're going to be playing some more Pokemon here. Let me just switch off from this account and go to our stream account. There we go. Closing software. Uh, big, uh, big shout out to everyone who celebrates Thanksgiving today. It is a nice turkey day. Uh, I know here in Michigan the weather looks to be quite nice. And looks to be like it's just going to be a fun, good day. Uh, super excited to have a couple good meals today. The joys of having multiple families to go to uh, experience Thanksgiving with. <coughs> so yesterday we had just gotten our first gym badge, uh, the bug type gym leader. We sort of took her down a peg, and now we are moving forward. Uh, so if you're joining in today, uh, be it you're doing some early morning cooking, getting ready for the holiday, or you're just relaxing, uh, joining in, big thank you for showing up. Uh, every little view helps. See here. I'll make you the lead. Oh, we got some ultra balls. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. All right, let's check our map. See where are we should go next. We're doing the gym challenge first. So we have Portando. Flying Titan. I'm not going down to the Psychic Gym later because she is absolutely terrifying to me. Uh, but we can start heading. We'll set the Grass Gym as our next destination. We will head back to Magoza. Or Megadoza, or Mesagoza. Mesagoza. Fly there, and you know, head out from there. <coughs> Alright, so we are here. Let's just get a quick focus center. A hit right there real quick. Boom, bada, bing. Party's looking pretty well-rounded at this point. Uh, I'm not seeing any glaring weaknesses right now. Uh, we got some really good type coverage, so I'm excited for our team. Uh, we might adjust things as it goes, but I do really like the Pokemon that we have. Uh, but we'll all see what we find. Uh, might find another Pokemon, or maybe another Shiny even, that might, uh, override a placement. You know, picnic ingredients are not, like, the cheapest thing here, so that guy just gave me, like, a couple thousand in food. Just, you know, for shits and giggles.
Oh, there's a rookety there. And boom, bada, bing. By Martina the student. Marshmallow. See, I really like the uh, the Spanish influence, the Mediterranean influence in this game. It definitely gives it a, a cool feel. Uh, I know, and it's it's the, the one thing that bothers me though is I I do know some Spanish, uh, and. What bothers me the most about all of the Spanish in this is it's sort of like a... They did their own thing with it. They did the same thing for the Alola region. Instead of like, Aloha, to say hi or bye, they'd like, Alola! And, it, and here they like, just change things ever so slightly. That if you, if you didn't know, you wouldn't know. Uh, but it's like, mm, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Alright, we caught our first Pokemon of the day, a Rookity. Alright, Rookity, the tiny bird Pokemon. This Pokemon is brave and reckless. The white markings around Rookity's eyes intimidate faint-hearted Pokemon. Now, Rookity, I really like Corviknight. Uh, Corviknight's one of my favorite bird-type Pokemon. Uh, just because I have a soft spot for Ravens. Uh, and you know they have a special significance to me in particular their personal beliefs and the like so alright throw the ball, ball let's see if we can catch number two hey critical capture hell yeah all right, we caught ourselves a Shinx. All right, what does Shinx's Pokedex entry say? Shinx, the Flash Pokemon. The extensions and contraction of its muscles generates electricity. It glows when in trouble. Awesome. <coughs> All right, added another one there, and another one down, and another one down. I am just so grateful today. Uh, these days like this, like Thanksgiving, uh, are times of reflection. And in times like this, it's really nice to sit down and to think about, even if you don't practice Thanksgiving or if uh, that doesn't belong, it, like if you don't feel like it, you belong with that. Ooh, there's a spoink on the... Right there. Uh, it's nice to just sit down and take stock of everything that's going on in your life. To sit down and reflect on what you're most grateful for. Uh, and even if it's not a holiday, it's good to just sometimes sit down and think about stuff like this. And I've been going through a lot of life changes recently, and it's made me reprioritize what I thought was important and made me think about what truly is important to me and there's gonna be a lot of changes coming uh, the biggest one of the biggest ones is the channel is growing uh, I'm gonna be dusting off the YouTube channel uh, I'm going to be making a better effort to stay on social medias stay active on that uh, and I'm grateful for the opportunity that I have through D&D, &D, through streaming, and the like, to reach out and help as many people as I can while going th while going to school and the like. Uh, recently, I've decided that the career path that I was going on I'm, doesn't interest me anymore. Uh, 
I was going for ABA, or Applied Behavioral Analysis, and I've been working in the field for many, many years, and, well, stuff happened, and it made me realize that's not what I wanted to do with my life. I, I was good at it, but it was glorified dog training for people, and I didn't really, I never liked it. So I'm changing my major, I'm going into uh, clinical psychology for counseling, and I'm going to be starting a new pathway. Uh, should be actually even faster to get my degree and allow me to help as many people as I can. Alright, we just caught a Spoink, number 111, the bounce Pokemon. Spoink will die if it stops bouncing. The pearl in its head amplifies its psychic powers. <coughs> and the, the, the greatest thing is, is I'm very grateful that the channel uh, between the Discord all of the wonderful people that I've met over the course of the course of playing D&D &D through streaming I have met more wholesome wonderful people than I have doing elsewhere uh, and I know that some people think oh D&D &D is like the devil's game because you had the you had the, the <clears throat> satanic panic in the uh, 80s and 90s and a whole bunch of other just very misguided, uh, misguided controversies. But I tell you what, I've done, I've been DMing and playing D&D for about five years now. Uh, I've been professionally DMing for four of those five years. I have run close to probably 700 to, between 700 and 1,000 games roughly in that time. And I tell you what, the community of D&D players and gamers that I have met are second to none. I cannot get over the generosity, the kindness, and everything else that the gamers put into into things. And as you've seen earlier this year from our Jasper's Game Day charity, we've just the generosity of gamers just playing D&D. Uh, and it's amazing what, as a, as a group that we can do, the good that we can accomplish. And that's, that's my thing, is I always want to be giving back to the community. Uh, I always want to make a difference in someone's life. And if I can do that by being a positive influence, <clears throat> running games for people, making people smile, then that's all that matters. And that is something that I am truly grateful for, that I have this I have the opportunity and the skill set to be able to do that for people. Do 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 Oh, another gimme go coin. Gimme gimme. There's some fresh water. Let's see if anything's back here. Ooh, water pulse. see what's this ladder do for us where does that take us also got to have my early morning coffee late morning coffee <laughs> whatever time it is <clears throat> pretty much any any time's a good time for coffee oh that's a big boy i'm not gonna challenge him yet 
I do not have the skills yet. I really like the auto battle in this game. I thought I would hate it at first, and I did sort of hate it at first, but it just... <clears throat> it takes a bit of the tedium away from uh, the Pokemon games. And that's pretty cool, I think. I don't know if people are complaining. Oh, the game looks like crap. Da, 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 da. It, the game's fine. You gotta have fun with it. And graphics don't always matter. Which is funny that coming from me, because I'm usually a graphics snob, like, to the extreme when it comes to video games. Uh, but, like, it's Pokemon. We've never played Pokemon for the graphics, if we're being honest to, with ourselves. We've always played Pokemon for the fun, the adventure, the seeing the new monsters, raising, raising friends, and the like, and meeting and battling other people. Uh, Pokemon's always a good escape. And while the graphics might not be great, it might not run at the best frame rate at all the time. It's a really cool and awesome uh, adventure that you can have. It's a nice escape from uh, the difficulties of the world. Which is a gift on it, unto itself. Because sometimes we get so preoccupied with, with life and everything that's going on, sometimes we forget to take a minute to slow down. Have an adventure. Have fun. And enjoy ourselves. Man, there is a lot of Pokemon there. See you, Marshmallow. Ba -da -ba, da -ba -da -ba. That'll do yet. I have, yes. Ooh, a nest ball, nice. <coughs> Flappy, that's the wrong way. Marshmallow. Seek and destroy. Check out what's under here. Oh, no, Marshmallow's just gonna run the other way. Next P candy. Extra small. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Ooh, that looks like it's going to be a dangerous Pokemon to fight. A Tetralized Jigglypuff. Let's see what level this thing is. Let's see how, how much trouble we're in. A Water-type Jigglypuff. Good thing we have the right typing out for this. Cool thing about this is you can't physically kill these Pokemon. Oh, level 14, we're in a good spot. Sometimes they're like ridiculously over level for what you are. And makes things pretty difficult. Look at you just because you're odd typing of textualization. Nice critical capture. Perfect. Great way to start the stream. Alright, Jigglypuff was caught. I think we already have a Jigglypuff in our uh Pokedex entry, so boom, 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 boom. Pick that up, an XP, nice. And I have I don't use those items ever. I know I probably should, it just 
But there's never, like, a situation that it never ever calls for. Ooh. Michael Hector wants some... I know there's some really good uh, Pokemon around here too that are really rare. Uh, I haven't seen any yet. Dun da da dun! All right, let's let's kick this person's butt. Oh, they got an ugly buff. I almost feel bad about this. I'm like a good like. Almost 10 levels higher than their Pokemon. The music is just very nice in this. I've said it multiple times, I'll say it again. I thoroughly enjoy the music in this game. Oh! <sighs> I want one of these guys. No idea how to evolve it, but uh, I've seen these on my first playthrough, but I already had a fire type, so I didn't get a chance to uh, run it. Clear smog, okay. This is actually what I was hoping for over here. So this is like one of, I will be replacing someone out of my party for this little Mega Man baby. Uh, in danger here. Let's see if I can... Let's do a Premier Ball, because I think you're going to be on my team for a long time, Charcadet. Oh, no, nah, damn it. Ooh, hurt by Fire Spin. Uh, gotta catch it now. Ooh, Critical Capture! Hell yeah! Alright, Charcadet, uh, and we need a food-based name, uh, or food-adjacent name, so... Uh, Charcadet, the fire child Pokemon. Burnt charcoal came to life and became a Pokemon. Possessed by a fiery fighting spirit, Charcadet will even battle tough opponents. Fire-type, yes, I will give it a nickname. I'm thinking charcoal. Let's see, what Pokemon are we gonna swap? Uh see, I like the electric typing, however, the grass typing covers the water type coverage, rock will cover that. Unfortunately, marshmallow, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of you for this. Uh because Charcadet looks really cool, and I wanted to raise him in my first playthrough, but I already had a fire typing, so I didn't get a chance. Alright, let's take a look at Charcadet, too. Let's check the summary here. Fire type, absolutely adorable. So we have Ember, Astonish, Clear Smog, Fire Spin. Lower a special attack, extra defense. 23. Uh, and Flash Fire Ability allows it to absorb Fire-type moves and power up of their own. Cool, cool. All right. Let's head back to that focus Center here real quick, because I don't want to risk anything, nor do I want to expend resources to... Uh, heal my Pokemon right now. Oops. All right, 
let's go. So we healed up our Pokemon. Hey, thank you, Catherine, for the follow. Thank you, Catherine Hope. I really appreciate it. Alright, so we need to find a bronzor. Location for Scarlet. Alright. Let's see, have we beaten enough people there? Hey, I'm doing really great, Catherine. Thank you for joining the uh, the, the stream today. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> Alright, got six trainers here. Hopefully you are having a uh, good Thanksgiving and have great plans for good food and good company tonight. Da -da -da. I am from the Michigan area. Uh, Where are you tuning in from? Very nice. Welcome, welcome. Uh, do not often get a lot of people from the UK in my stream, so it's nice to meet you. You get a lot of people from Canada and other countries close to the US, but not anything as far as overseas. So thank you for joining. I really appreciate it. I try streaming daily. I uh, usually do video game streams in the morning uh, in my time. And I'll run D and D uh, at night uh, usually. Uh, do make sure video game and D and D streams all the time, and a lot of people really enjoy it. And uh, we allow our our viewers to join in on the streams as well uh, for like the D and D stuff. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Where are these trainers here? Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. That means a lot. I'm trying to keep it very family friendly and wholesome, so. <clears throat> and for Pokemon, I got a. I, I love the uh, the layout I have for the Pokemon streams. So what is your favorite Pokemon? If you have one. Uh, so my favorite game answering that is, uh, I'd have to say, oh, that's a hard one. Uh, man, I love, uh, the Dark Souls franchise, like, more than anything. Let's see, can I, can I cheese this? No. Uh, I love the Dark Souls franchise. Elden Ring is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Pokemon is 
always one of my go-tos. Uh, recently just was able to start streaming uh, on my Switch because I finally got the stuff to be able to do that. Uh, but the Souls collection will always, always have my heart and Pokemon will always have my soul. Uh, I've been playing Pokemon since Gold version, Gold and Silver back in the late 90s. Uh, even used to play competitive Pokemon, which was a blast. I absolutely love that. Yeah, this game has been uh, taking up a majority of my time recently. Uh, this is my stream playthrough for everyone. Oh, poor, poor Charcoal. Jump off. My phone will save me. Perfect. <clears throat> Gotta find six trainers here to uh, to defeat, and then I get to uh, get a special item. Or for bot and Cabraler. I don't see those very often. Alright, let's do... It's raining, which is going to suck for my damage, but... Oh, avoided the attack. Alright. Let's see. Do a clear smog. It's going to do more than the fire is going to do in this. Might have to switch out soon. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to switch. But it did stop raining. We'll pop a potion here and we'll see. Yeah, this thing just loves to hit this thing. That's fantastic. Uh, I often uh, I do commission things uh, a bit for the channel sometimes. Uh, and we have a lot of artists in our channel as well. Uh, if you ever tune in on Monday evenings, our, t our time, uh, we actually have one of our players, they live, or as I'm streaming, they stream through our Discord, uh, them like live drawing what's happening uh, in the scenes, which is super cool. I love that they uh, do that. Uh, but I am also on the prowl for uh, new emotes as well. Uh, so if you want to whisper to me and whisper to me on Twitch, uh, be able to work something out for uh, some emotes or something like that. <clears throat> see what your rates are and the like. So I'd like to see some of your work. So I love to support artists and stuff like that, so... Art's one of those things that is, uh, like music, art can be an entryway to the soul and a way to express yourself in a way that, yeah, I'll absolutely check out your stuff. Uh, is it under the same name that your, uh, your Twitch is? TMs for this guy. Actually, wait a minute, I can go check summary, change moves, use TMs. Oh, I like having Confuse Ray on him. A 
Well, you're an astonished. Okay. Yeah. Not the greatest, so I'll just go. This way, do do. Mm -hmm. Oh, ran right into a rookie. Drop a fire spin. Dun, 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 dun. If you send me a whisper on Twitch, I will uh, I will share that information with you here. Uh, For you there. Yeah, so the username on Twitch is Odyssey of Eternity. Uh, you can whisper to me on Twitch and then I'll gladly share the uh, Discord stuff. Uh, right here, I can whisper it to you here, actually. Will it let me? Here, account. All right. All right. Sending you a whisper, Cath uh, Catherine. Uh, for my username on Discord. about maybe some artwork and some emotes and stuff like that so ah, it's raining again darn it that's all right it's not like I'm trying to uh, raise the fire type here let me double check though because all of his attacks are special attack mm, special attack is lowered interesting interesting might not be a great shark cadet but you know I can always find a minute later to change that And where are all the trainers here that I have not battled yet? What is up here? Let's see. Is 
see if that was Pokemon I haven't seen yet, but it's not, unfortunately. Alright, let's drop down here. Do, 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 do. I haven't been here this way. There's Gimme Go coins and money. Or not money, but uh, items. Be close to the main uh, main path. Maybe this Shark Cadet's going to be a little better. We'll see. I'm do a little Confuse Ray. Ah, it already snapped out of confusion, darn it. Alright, let's keep uh, hitting this here with some flash fire. Uh, I just sent that in a whisper, Catherine, to you. Uh. Ah, damn it, broke free. Let's catch this one. Do ba do. Ah. This thing is adorable, though. Alright, let's drop it to red, see if that'll help a little bit to catch it. We only got one premier ball left, and I'd like to keep it in a premier ball if possible. That's all right. Or an ultra ball at it, you know, just a little bit of overkill. And it's a critical capture, of course. Ooh, I'm gonna switch out so I don't uh, lose my Pokemon. See if that catches. See if it sticks. Nope, did not 
stick. Alright, two and three and caught. And unfortunately I don't think Stantler evolves in this one like it did, did in Arceus. Arceus is a great evolution for weird ear. Alright, Stantler, the big horn Pokemon. This Pokemon apparently used to live in a much harsher environments, and thus it once had stronger psychic powers than it does now. Yep, does not evolve in this one, I don't think from that. Have not seen any of these yet. <coughs> or Leo, sorry. Another level 18. Alright, these are these are spicing up over here. Level wise. Go table salt. Rocket the Lit Leo. Ooh, perfect. Right to red. All right, we caught it. We caught the Lit Leo. Wonderful. Defense <coughs> on a rock type that already has good defense. Uh, I'll leave that be. Let's see, Will O Wisp though on Charcadet. Uh, I will get rid of 40, 35, but I like the overtime damage. Get rid of that. Aqua Cutter on our, on our soup. Alright, pressurized water to cut up the target like a blade. The user move has a heightened chance to land a critical hit. I'll absolutely get rid of water gun for that. Lit Leo, the Lion Cub Pokemon. When Lit Leo were young, female Pyroar will teach them how to hunt. Once the Lit Leo mature, they will leave the pride and set out on their own. A fire normal type. Ooh, soup is evolving. Hell yeah. I don't know how to feel about that, about Quaxwell, but, you know, soup is soup. So Quaxwell, the practicing Pokemon. These Pokemon constantly run through shallow waters to train their legs, then compete with each other to see which of them kicks most gracefully. All right. I did see a Go-Goat over here. Drop some healing on them. But, uh, you know. No, I have insomnia. Boom, boom, boom. We'll pop that Will O Wisp down. A skidoo was burned. Alright, let's see. Do, do, do. We'll have a confused radar, too, you know, just to make things a little bit interesting. Burn. So it's funny, Skidoo and Gogo is one of the Pokemon that just sort of disappeared up from the face of uh, the game for a while. Uh, however, when I was getting into competitive play back in, uh, what was it, all, 
not Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, but uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Uh, there was one player that showed up to our local tournaments, uh, and he had a Go Goat, and that Go Goat was absolutely a fantastic Go Goat. That person, they had raised it perfectly, and it was it was a force to be reckoned with. And which is funny because statistically wise uh, and stuff, it had no right being as good as it was. Uh, Skidoo, the mount Pokemon. Until recently, people living in the mountains would ride on the backs of these Pokemon to traverse the mountain paths. place for a picnic. Drop a picnic, you know. Oh, my shiny skip blue. Wash, 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 wash. There we go. Boom, bada, bing. I'll give you a little bit of a wash. There, if I do. There we go. Wash the salt. Probably detrimental for its health, but you know. Nope, I just I washed just washed you salt. All right, we'll wash uh, soup now. It's quite the amount of lather on so on soup. Soup got soapy. Alright. Wash the scrub. I haven't gotten a chance to actually use scrub yet. Uh, just because it's been just caught at such a higher level than the rest of my Pokemon. Alright, wash the Charcadet. about a thing and of course I can't forget about you Karidon you get a wash too so many bubbles there we go why don't we wrap it up with a sandwich here Let's make, uh, let's see what we got. Uh, Japon Bure. <clears throat> a pickle sandwich. Teensy power and power fighting. Oh, encounter power ghost and catching power ghost. Yeah, we're going to do this. All right, let's put some pickles on there. This looks like the most boring sandwich ever. Three pickles and some olive oil on a very large slice of bread. There's not much nutritional value there. Just three little pickle slices, some olive oil, and two large pieces of bread. Like... It doesn't even look that appetizing. To be honest, the bread looks good. Bread looks really good. 
But not enough to Pokemon Light, that's all that matters. Three star pickle sandwich. Picnicking. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Can I get around to get that Corvus wire? There we go. Perfect. Big damaging move. It didn't like that. Just gonna switch here for just a second. Table salt, you know, a little bit more durable. damage. I'll take that. I don't want to do any more damage to it just because any more would be detrimental to catching it. Let's see if that burns enough to catch it. Nope. No, it is not. Eventually it's gonna get it's gonna get uh, tired and it's just going the ball. That burn definitely helps right now. There we go, throw the Pokeball. Three and captured. Hell yeah. Alright, Cobra Square was caught. Level up. Not one, but two Pokemon. So, Corva Squire, the Raven Pokemon. It is said the reason behind Corva Squire's high level of intelligence is the large size of its brain relative to those of other bird Pokemon. Boom, and set the thing. Alright, but if you will excuse me, I will be right back. Uh, I need to use the restroom, so I'll be right back, my friends.
All right, sorry about that, everyone. I am back, and we are here to play some more Pokemon. All right. Da -da -da. Oh. Probably running out of different controllers than near. Nintendo doesn't even, even through Nintendo controllers, they don't standardize the controller layouts. Alright, will the wins? I'll give you a nice burn. Constant damage. Even though it's raining, the fire spin will definitely help as well. Wonderful. Fire spin and the burn will get it. And then you use a confuse ray. Boom, bada bing. All the status issues. And all the dots. And it has stopped raining. That is good. That is good. Hurt yourself, please. Nice. There we go. Do -do -do. Stat changes were eliminated. The fire, the burn is going to get it. And that's that. Let's see what's down here. Water that I cannot traverse. Which is a bit unfortunate. So I went up that ladder earlier, I think. Cannon. That's a powerful move. Let's see. Dum 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 Is down here, do but do but do but do but do. I probably come down here already. <coughs> ah, here I am. Oh, I did not mean to do that. All right. Ah, uh, well, it's level twenty-five. Uh, can I survive it? Nope. No, I cannot. <coughs> Let's see. See, I'm pretty sure I can defeat it. It's just gonna... <laughs> it might cost a lot to defeat this thing. Can, we get, can I get a sleep? Avoided the attack, damn it. Wah! Sleep, damn it! Thank you.
Hell yeah! Easy enough. All right. When in doubt, catch it. All right, let's see. What Pokemon wants to learn Work Up? Is this Bread? It is Bread. All right, so Work Up, Attack, and Special Attack. Uh, yeah, get rid of Tail Whip for it. Sounds like a good uh, trade-up. Hariyama, the arm thrust Pokemon. It loves challenging others to test of strength. It has the power to stop a train with a slap. Alright, Hariyama, you're gonna go right there next to Kerbrawler and Makapaiti. Do I have a revive? I do have a revive. We're gonna pop that there. Oh, don't wanna take that. What's over this way? Looking for the other trainers in here. Apparently there is six, and I've got all three. But let's see, not bad. Oh, that's a lot of shinks. burn, bruh. Drop the fire spin. And boom, bada, bing. <coughs> I need two more trainers. Where are they? Let's see if anything's over here. Oh, -to -to -to. All right, let's see here. Do -do -do. All right, Catherine just accepted it. There you go. up here. Aha, uh -huh, another trainer.
Oh shit, those guys got a larvitar. Switch to well, that's a bad switch, but oh well, already did it. <laughs> dun -ba -dun, dun -ba -dun. Drop a water gun. It's another super potion. Awesome. Helping hand. Wonderful. Ah, Yungus. Clear smog on ya, and... Do, ba, do, 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 ba, do. One more trainer to find over here. But can we find them easily? No, it's so much. There was a spoink on top of the mountain there. So I've been here already. Ah, did not mean to jump off the cliff. I think, actually, I think Area 3 goes past the Focus Center. So I'm going to try that, actually. Get that Focus Center, and then I'm going to go past it, and we're going to see where that goes. Let's hit that real quick, get some healing.
It does continue. I am a dummy. Boom, bada, bing. Here's our last trainer that we actually have to battle here. A Jigglypuff. All right. Drop a fire spin. Zoop, get that damage going. Alright, I've avoided the attack. Alright, you're just gonna keep stockpiling, aren't you? Oh, no, you are gonna eat your stockpile, okay. Fine by me. Saves me some damage. <coughs> There's another shark dead up there. But I'm not worried. I got this one in the Premier Ball. I can always adjust its nature later. Uh, figured out how this is just a first playthrough, so you know. I don't get too competitive with all this stuff. Is this turn? Hey. Oh, well, hello. How's it going? Going pretty good. Yeah. Just uh, doing some stringing it. You having fun? Yeah, I've got a little chark A what? A little chark oh. Is anyone watching you? Yeah, well, uh, one person. Oh. Yeah. Cool. They're from the UK. Oh. <clears throat> Hello, person from UK. Catherine Hope. Oh, hi, Catherine Hope. Oh, they're an artist, too. They sent me some of their stuff for what they do for Twitch and oh. stuff. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, wait. Go down to the fat people. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh right? They got some pretty good stuff. Yeah, no. I for like sure. the Pokemon emotes right there. I like that too. That's really fun. Oh, wow. Good. That's a lot of stuff. That's great. Right? Yeah. For real. Oh, that looks cool. Look at Bon flying in the suit. Alright, I'm just interrupting you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Love you too. Alright, this Jigglypuff is being a bad person. We're just gonna clear smog again and hopefully we go faster. Boom, bada bang, we went faster than the Jigglypuff. A skidoo. I can do a skidoo. I think, however, first I need to heal up a little bit, though. First off, we're going to drop a Willow Master, cut that Skidoo's attack in half. Seeing how, as I'm pretty sure, Charcadet is a baby Pokemon. I gotta play a little bit uh, smart and tactical. Which there's nothing wrong with that. Ah, I avoided the fire spin, damn it. Do you have a leftover, sir? Sir, you should not have that. That is that is illegal for a uh, NPC to have. Ooh, critical hit. Ah, do not like that. Stop 
with the leftovers, sir. That is illegal. I like, however, that the, uh, use a super potion here. I do like that the fire, the fire spending goes after the leftovers. Definitely helps out a bit. Interested to see what item the guy will give me uh, for this. There's that good old fire spin. Alright, the special attack rooms. <coughs> I'd avoided the attack, but that's okay. Still gonna get taken out by the other stuff. The burn and the fire spin, as long as the fire spin doesn't break. Yep, fire spin is still there. Wonderful. Alright, after that, I'm going back to the Focus Center. That was a pretty draining fight, actually. Okay, I don't. Stardust. Six trainers on behalf of Pokalini. Here's lovely part of Shell Bell. Hell yeah, I'll take that. That is a fantastic item. I think I'll put that on my uh, table salt. Give item to hold. Do, 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 do. All right. Dum, ba, dum, da, da. Oh, did not mean to hit that one. Yeah, I'm just gonna get out of there. Oh, a mud slap. Energy root, a hyper potion, squish the shinks, a hasty mint. You know what? That is exactly what I needed. Defense may suffer, however, its speed becomes faster. I'm going to use that on charcoal. Now charcoals. Let's see here. How did that change charcoal? Cool, cool. So now my attack is that, a special attack. So this seems to be a, a physical attacker, honestly. Uh, but I, it's hard to tell. It's learning all special attacks, so it's interesting. Ooh, a sun current. This is going to be an easy fight. Just toss out that fire spin. Sun current's really weak. Bonsley, we're going to actually switch out. Well, hello. Hello, Emily. Love of my life. Thank you for joining. Chant. 
I miss you too. Alright, check this guy's uh, lunch money. You didn't see that at all. Your, your Pokemon were, yes, bad. Do better. Alright, check it out. You do, do some work. Do, 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 do. checked in a while if I've actually earned some new moves on any of these Pokemon. So there's been a lot of auto battles. Oh, Leech Seed. Yeah, that's what I want to teach that. Absolutely. Yep, so if you go through uh, the moves, you can click A on the moves and remember move at any given time, which is really fantastic, actually. And Quaxwell here has some good moves that I could switch out for. Honestly, at this point, I... Quaxley turns into the best-looking starter. I'm not the fan of Quaxley, but it... Honestly, it's the best one. I don't want to admit it, because White Coco is adorable. But there's just disappointing starters in this one. A Finian that is Fairy-type. <clears throat> so we're going to switch here. We're gonna go to cilantro. Uh, just make sure they actually know poison move. They do. Cool. Yeah, it's it's hard because the designs are just pretty bad in this one, honestly. Uh, the initial starters design fantastic, uh, but their evolutions, like I don't for Foy Coco, I don't know where the inspiration came from. They had two. Decent concepts for the first and second lot evolutions, and then they get to the third evolution, and it's a completely different concept than what was initially spoken about in the Pokemon design. I'm not going to give any exact spoilers away to anyone uh, who might be watching this or watch the VOD later. Uh, but it was just weird that you'd see that. Just, it was just very odd. Cilantro used acid. And look, we beat the Finian. Ha! <laughs> it got poisoned as it's already dying, you know. As one does. Finian is a really cute Pokemon. Uh, it's a good water type too, when it evolves. I remember catching you and Alpha, uh, Alpha Finian and uh, Arceus and sending it your way. Yeah, Finian and Luminion. And this one's a fairy type. That turns into. A bone out of bang. And there we go. Finian, the wingfish Pokemon. The line running down its side can store sunlight. It shines vividly at night. There we go. One foot four. Right there. There's your spot, Finian. Do ba do bum, bum ba do ba do bum, bum ba dum. 
What? What did I run into? Oh, there's a Shinx there. <laughs> All right. Let's blast you with fire spin. Did more damage than I thought it would. Sparkle on the ground, on the ground. A boom, bada, bang. Do, 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 do. Bum, ba, dum. Heal powder. But I want to make my Pokemon hate me. Cheap, but effective. Ooh, a Growlithe. I do not have one of these yet. Use some clear smog on it. Get it lowered a bit. I believe it also has flash fire, so I'm not even going to try to uh, hit it with that. Critical capture. Oh, boom, bada, bang. Growlithe was caught. All right. Oh, we leveled up Table Soul. All right, Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. It has a brave and trustworthy nature. It fear fearlessly stands up to bigger and stronger foes. Growlithe, you go right in the box. I did name the uh, Nackley Table Salt, yes. Because uh, everything has to be food related in this playthrough. Oh, but um... I thought I seen a cloth over here, but I guess I did not. Ooh, that's a lot of go goats. Good XP. Go for it and murder my child. Bum 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 bum. I'm going to have to end the stream here shortly, uh, just so I can start getting ready for uh, the holiday festivities today. Uh, I've got a lot of traveling to do today, and I'm uh, excited for good food and good company. So that's going to be a lot of fun. You might have paralyzed me, Hoppet, but I can still... Damage every turn, regardless. Man, that thing is sitting quite a sizable amount. Five times. Yes, I'm gonna switch out to Snow Pea, because Snow Pea's gonna be great against Barboach. And it's shiny. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna drop a leech seed, except for I got rid of <laughs> my grass type moves on. Uh, Gross. No confusion. 
Only a leaf seed. Bing, snap some of that health. We'll throw a poison powder on it as well. Oh, so be hit itself in confusion. Come on, Snow Pea. There we go. Perfect. Oh, you fudge monkey, you have rest. Ah. Get rid of that poison. I just spent two turns trying to do that. Slowly get through all this. Oh, you have snore too. That is not fair. Man, I've been confused for a long time. I just want to beat this this person. Uh, after I beat this person, that's where I'm going to end the stream here today. So. So we've got one more Pokemon after this asshole Barboge. It's probably going to wake up and use Rest again. But snap out of confusion so I can use another Fairy Wind. And there we go. Sandalit. Another uh, round type, but I'm going to switch to Soup. Soup will be able to get me through real quick. Some aqua cutter. Boom, bada bang. All right, everyone, that is going to be it for our stream today. I wish all of you a great and happy Thanksgiving. And if you're watching this after Thanksgiving, I hope you had a great one. So, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today and watching. Uh, this is Odyssey Fraternity, and thank you so much for everything that you that you do, uh, and all this love and support. All right.